I'm Darren Rice with Ultra Geothermal Incorporated. And uh, now we're going to discuss what a bleed line circuit is for an open loop standing column well system. Um, what a, a, the bleed line circuit is to relieve water off of the geothermal system's well when the water temperature gets too cold. So we're going to start off by showing you how the bleed line circuit is controlled. So once your water starts getting too cold inside your particular, in your water, water well, you're going to try to release water back to uh, a ground source like a dry well. This helps replenish um, the water temperature in the well so that it doesn't continue to drop any further. So how your geothermal is controlled to bleed water is if you see this gray box right here, rectangular shaped box, this is what you will typically see on most installations on open loop um, is this particular rectangular gray box. Usually it'll say Ranko on it. Um, so anyway, right now the, this box is sensing the incoming water temperature of your well. Now, right now, this particular system is not running right at the moment. Um, so it, it is kind of picking up a little bit of room temperature as well as water temperature at this time. But currently, this right now says that the current water temperature incoming where it's sensed down here and on the pipe. 57 degrees is very warm incoming water. So if we had turned this well pump on, I'm sure you'd see closer to 50, maybe 49 degrees. But anyway, that's where, that is a very comfortable temperature to bring in for geothermal open loop systems is in that 50 degree range, 50, 49 degree range in the heating season. So the way this is done is right now it is saying that it is 57 degrees. Okay. Now there's a little button right here called set. When you touch this button, you're going to go into different uh, functions and features of this little control box, but it's, it's very simple. So right now, again, it says 57 degrees. The next step, once you hit it, will say either C or F for Celsius or Fahrenheit. And this now says the temperature in which we want the well to start bleeding. So if you can see, we have it set for 47 degrees. So when the incoming water temperature for the, from the well is uh, at the low point of 47 degrees, more like 46, then what that will do is it will now activate a, a solenoid valve, which I'll show you in a, in a little bit, that will allow water to open and go to your bleed circuit. If you want your water temperature to come on um, at a higher rate, you can always put it up to 48 by hitting the up button or 49. 47 to 46 degrees is a pretty reasonable area in which to start bleeding water because it doesn't allow your water temperatures in your well to get too cold. Um, if you start noticing your, if you have your water well temperature set down to bleed as low as, let's say, 41 degrees, that's very dangerous because it, it can help, it can, your water can start to freeze when it goes through your heat exchanger. So we ideally think between 46 and 47 degrees is an ideal setting for your bleed circuit to come on. So then you hit your set button again, and here it indicates a number one going up, down. You can make it go to three if you want or back down to one. What this portion of the screen is, is it's telling you the differential temperature in which to turn on the bleed. So if we had it in the previous screen at 47 with the one degree differential, it means that the bleed line will activate at 46. If we had it set at 47 with a two degree differential, it would activate at 45. Keep it at one because it's the safest way to do it, keeps it in closer parameters. Um, so now we're at one. Now this screen right here, you have the ability to do different features. Okay. Always leave this on H1. Okay. Because you're in heating or cooling with the C. You do not need to bleed water off your domestic water or geothermal well in the summertime. So we always leave it in heating mode on the heat side. Um, if for some reason you do feel you have to bleed water out of your well in the cooling mode, then the temperature adjustments that we just showed you would work the opposite way. So if you are in C1 or cooling one, then 
if you had your bleed set to 47 degrees with a one degree differential, then that means your bleed would activate at 48 degrees. If it was a two degree differential, your bleed would activate at 49 degrees. You do not need to bleed water <laughs> um, in the cooling season. Um, if for some really strange reason, your well water temperature in the summertime is getting up into the high 70s uh, it, when you're running cooling, um, I would highly suggest that you have your well checked out. Um, but as far as bleeding water in the summertime, it should not be necessary. So that final mode that we just saw should be left in heat one for your bleeding in your wintertime season.